Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you another feature, another place that you can control the information that you get from Google Classroom. Here I am in my student view. I can close these tabs, manage it a little bit. Over here in the three lines next to where it says Google Classroom, you're going to get to the main menu. So where you can see all of the classes that you're in in list view, the calendar that includes all the due dates, your to-do list that we've mentioned before, this class yet again, any archived classes that you might belong to, and the notification settings. This is what I want to show you in this video. Down here in notification settings, you have some choices. If you are going to regularly check Google Classroom and you don't want all the email that might be connected with that, you can turn off all of these settings. You will not get another email from Google Classroom. You will still be getting items in Google Classroom. Your teachers are planning on utilizing this platform. And if you don't go in and check Google Classroom, you're going to miss something. So I would not recommend this unless you've got, I could see this for kindergarten, first, second grade maybe, where they're going to immediately log into Classroom and not check anything else. I teach middle school and high school and I'm trying to teach them to look at their email and manage their inbox. So I'm going to encourage my students to leave those notifications on. But I want you to see, I want them to see that you can manage these things. Do I want to see anytime somebody comments on my post? Do I want to see comments that mention me? Do I want to see private comments? For me as a teacher, I leave these on because I have the same settings as a teacher. If somebody comments on the post, I want to know it so that I can answer that question or address that issue or handle whatever it is as quickly as possible. I don't want that to fester for a day or a class period or six. Classes that you're enrolled in, you can decide if you're seeing work and other posts from teachers. Do you wanna see returned work and grades from your teachers? Do you wanna see invitations to join classes? Do you wanna see due date reminders for your work? Here's the big reason that I would not encourage you to turn this off. If you turn it off, you turn it all off. This down here, the due date reminders might be really helpful for someone who needs that kind of reminder system. As we're working in an online environment, there may not be somebody standing right next to you who can say, now remember, this is due tomorrow. Google Classroom can remind you of those things if you let it. Maybe you've already joined all the classes you wanna join, you don't need this one. You don't wanna see the returned work, you don't wanna see the work, you don't wanna see private comments. You have some of those choices. Class notifications, you can turn on and off for a class and, and look at just this class. She's only enrolled in one class. She was enrolled in four classes and she really only needed the notifications for English. She could leave this on and turn the other three off. Those are choices that you have to consciously make and decide how it is you wanna interact. If you leave all of these on and discover you're getting an email every little bit for whatever reason, you can go back in and turn those off. Maybe you have one teacher who comments all the time or posts things all day long and all weekend long, and you're gonna go in and classroom and check that for that class period as is appropriate, but you don't wanna get those notifications. Here's how to turn those notifications off. Again, that was under the main menu on your very first dashboard screen. And it's down here in settings. These are all of your notification settings that you as a student have access to. So I hope that helps you as you manage your inbox and look at how Classroom could help you manage your online classroom experience. Thanks for watching. Please, again, let me know if there's anything else I can help explain.